we're going to actually take a graphic now and show our viewers a test that you use, doctor, every day for that matter, to, um, to look at the spine. So let's look at some of these. These are x-rays. You obviously use CT scans, um, magnetic uh, resonance imaging, MRIs, of course. Um, that last one, radionuclide bone scan, and then EMGs. This is what you use to look at the spine, doctor? Yes, so these are some of the tests that are commonly done by physicians who you'll see in the office. The first one, x-ray. X-ray is very important to rule out fractures. Really, x-rays show just a few things. They show fractures, so if you're involved in trauma, the first thing that the emergency room would do or a physician would do would be to perhaps order an x-ray of the spine that's injured, okay? That shows you the area where the discs are, but it doesn't actually show you the disc, but it shows you the space where they are. It shows you any evidence of a fracture, and it can also show you arthritis involving those joints that I spoke about in the back, so that's the first test. The second test was the magnetic resonance imaging. And the magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, is a great test. There's no radiation with that test, by the way. And it shows all the soft tissue. So it shows the muscle. So if you have a tear in the muscle, it could show that. If it shows, it could show a disc herniation where the disc actually protrudes backwards and it can press on the nerve. It can show the nerve actually traversing through the spine. And that's, those are the nerves that form the sciatic nerve that ultimately can go down your leg. And it can show all the soft tissues and swelling. An additional test is the CAT scan, commonly referred to as a CT scan, and that can show the bones a little better as well.